Kwa hiyo hivi people hope mko poa hope mko fine so hata mimi niko poa nimetulia tu hapa hapa anyway niko na furaha na niko na uzuni <laughs> niko na two time two two things at one time so before sijaanza please subscribe share and comment and god let you bless you so uh, Sijui nianze na uzuni, sijui nianze na furaha, sijui mnajisi nianze na gani. I'm totally confused. So acha nianze na furaha. Okay, yesterday at night my husband came from work. Alipokuja nikamwambia, "Ah, babe, okay, I welcomed him very well as usual the way I normally welcome him." Alafu nikamwambia, "Babe, hakuna hakuna shop ni kwa nyumba. Hata nilikuwa baki tu na ziwa moja." akanambia ni sawa ni sawa chocho utaenda kufanya shopping akanitumia 10000 in my account akanitumia 11000 pamoja na kutoa nikamwambia oh thanks nikamwambia akanambia kesho utaenda kufanya shopping supermarket unywe kile hakuna alafu ukishamaanza kunoa shopping ukija kwa nyumba tutajua the go ahead kama kuna kitu kingine hakuna tutajua alafu tutabuy nikamwambia sawa that's good nikamwambia thank you my husband because i, I usual wakati bwanangu ananipatia pesa huwa namwambia tu asante sana nikamwambia thank you thank you my sweet that my beloved husband what the name the message because it's a good time akarudi akanipatia tena 10000 akaambia hii ni ya mfuko hii ni yako so mimi nikachukua nikaweka nikamwambia oh thank you so much you care about me thank you i congratulate him it's a good guy baby ananisaidia ananipa kila kitu So today I wake up in the morning very early in the morning around 8. Nikamwambia let me prepare myself because by 9:30 nataka niende town nifanye hizo shopping. Alafu nile kama nitapitia kwa sis ama before nipitie kwa sis ya ndio niende nifanye shopping. Nikamwambia ni sawa. Mimi nikamka asubuhi vizuri. I take my shower, I finish after taking my shower. Nikaenda kitchen, nikaenda ni kitchen, nikamtengezea chai. Akanambia nataka chakula nilikuwa ibaki jana usiku. Tukao tumepika pilau. So nikapasha moto. Nikaweka nika juu ya meza, everything good. By saa tatu na nusu nikamwambia, "Be, mimi I want to go out today." Akanambia, "Everything is good." Nikamwambia, "Kila kitu iko sawa na nimeweka tu kwa table." Sasa wewe ukiamka, utaenda kufanya nini? Ukule. Ni take shower and eat before he come. Ah, sasa akanambia, "Ni sawa." Nikamwambia, "Sawa." Mimi nika mimi nikachomoka nikaenda zangu shopping. Nikasema sita kutia kwa sisi. Sasa kwa sisi niende nini? Niende jioni sabu kuna kuna we have, we had some issue we are discussing with my sister so we ni kind of supermarket i do all my shoppings nikamaliza nikana sita enda na ma so i decided to call her uber nikapigia uber it's came nikanichukua nikanipeleka home so we are in the first door ground floor at the kwaji so mimi nikatulia vitu zangu je unajua gari FC kama tukutuki nafanya gr 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 no hii ilikuwa ni gari na gari usimjua gari ndogo huwa si siweza kelele sana sasa nikachukua tu vizuri kadhaafu hapo kwa plot kwa hiyo hiyo gorofa tunakaa chini kuna tumepewa kwa na gari sasa kifikia hata gari nimesimama hizi pia ni nani sababu hakutarajia kama mimi naweza kuja na gari so i take my things my dri- the driver help me take my things in my door nikafunga tu mlango pole pole because i had to surprise me nimwambia ah hata sijapitia kwa sis me then nimerudi mapema alafu nilikuwa nimemjulia zawadi nilikuwa nataka tu ni surprise so zawadi ilikuwa nimeka in my hand bag so i just wanted to surprise him or not really the the present the present which i got for my husband so ile time ile ingia ndani hivi nikapata hayuko hapo nikapata chakula chakula maybe you could date it was around 11:30 12. Ah, hii nikasema oh msee wiki mpaka mpaka sasa hii amelala. So nikasema ah acha niende bedroom. Ile kuingia hivi. Oh my friend, I was so shocked. Totally shocked. What I saw, I can't believe and I can't explain. So tumeje niliingia bedroom nikasimama. Ai, nikaona my husband with another woman in my bedroom, in my bed on my bed in my bedroom <laughs> guys sema kutetemeka 
Sema kurukwa na wazimu. But in a woman who is, who is learned, you can't rush for the things. So mini ni wangalia. Hata ana attention kama kuna mtu ako karibu. Hey, hey, hey. So then la kukulana. So oh, I decided to, to scream. Nikasema, hey, what are you doing? And who is this? And I oh my wife, I'm sorry. I don't know what. I don't know what. She came here. I don't know looking for what. And Nikasema, she came here looking for what? Then you decided to take her to our bedroom. On my bed. In my bedroom. And you are here to tell me that atalikuwa amekuja kufanya hivi sio nini that is nonsense nikamwambia wewe na kichecho mwanzako nyote mnakanyaga mlango mnatoka siku nyinga hey eh ana nani mweza ku nimetoa wigi hata sijui nimeitupa wapi sivyo tena okay but hivi pia ipo sawa so nika 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 nikamvuta msichana Bila msana nilimkunguta, sasa ni mwalimu. Bila sikuchukua video. I wish I could have taken the video. So guys, I can show you to see what happened in my today he spoiled my day. Totally spoiled my day and I'm not happy. Totally happy because that is not good. So I decided to throw them all out in my room and out of my house. Na nikamrushia mbo zake nje. Walikuwa nadhalia nguo kwa mlango. Na nikamwambia huyu jamaa huyu mwana huyu mwanangu nini? Usijaribu kukanyagisha mguu hapa. Me and you we have done nothing else more. No matter how you went. Mimi siwezi kana wewe ati kwa vile unanisaidia, unanipatia pesa yako, so you do stupid things and I assume. That is nonsense. Mimi siwezi. So mimi li, I give up with him na nikamrushia nje. Si ati ilikuwa ni jokes watu wakao nasema eh hey. sasa so, uh, my neighbors walivosikia kelele akafungua mlango akaniambia hey Mary sisi si tulikwambia uko na tu mchezo umsana amekuwa akikuja hapa ndoko tu akikuja hata zasingira na shida hapa na bwana yako siku nyumba yako haendi kazi so nikamuliza unje imagine wewe jana nilivoniambia at the first time i didn't believe him believe her mimi ndo nitu na wale wagonganishi niambia anaona vile nakaa na bwana wangu tunakaa vizuri ana treat poa ah sasa nikasema ni dini wewe ni dini wewe well sasa hii simu zenye napigiwa hazina full stop usijaribu kusema nyumbani usijui nini itakuwa ni aibu ni aibu ni wakati umemleta kwa bedroom yangu kwa kitanda yangu hukuwa na aibu ndogo ya mtu wewe alafu sasa anaanza kuniambia sijui ati usijaribu kusema nyumbani itakuwa ni aibu waje kwa aibu na mimi na yeye tumemaliza we just have one kid with him i can take care of my baby i still have the business which can raise and pay my the, the rent of my house so mimi sina any sina stress so guys aki please i just need your ideas kwa mimi ni tu hapo chini Uniambie what to do next because I'm totally confused. If it's you sahi, umepata bwana yako hivyo na mwanamke mwingine kwa bedi yako, kwa rumu yako. Imagine na ume mletea zawadi kabisa. Na ni kitu yenye amekuwa akifanya not the first time not the second time. Ni kitu imekuwa ikijirudia. So I'm totally confused. Even I don't know what to do guys. Please I need your ideas. Please. Tell me what to do because I'm totally confused. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. I love you my people. One love.